Hello everybody and welcome back to Undertale. So, I actually do believe we're getting uh, closer here to the end of the game. Away with you. And, uh, I, well, I can't say for certain, but that is th what, how, how I think of it. That actually scared me. God get down. <clears throat> Why the hell did I, did I get scared by a door opening? Hey, cool! It's you. Well, yeah, it, it is indeed me. It's too dark to see near the walls. It's too dark to see near the walls, blah, blah, blah. It's too, okay, so. Everything is too dark, I need a light switch, yeah. Uh, hey, it's a dino! Dino monster-ish. Oh, my god. I didn't expect you to show up so soon. I haven't showered. I'm barely dressed. It's all messy, and... Um... Uh, hiya. I'm Dr. Alphys. I'm Asker's royal scientist. But, 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 uh, I'm not one of the bad guys. Actually, since you stepped out of the ruins, I've, um... Been observing your journey through my console. Your fights, your friendships, everything! I was originally going to stop you, but watching someone on my, my screen really makes you root for them. So, so uh, now I want to help you. Using my knowledge, I can easily guide you through Hopland. I know a way right to Asker's castle, no problem. Well, actually, um, it's just a tiny issue. A long time ago, I made a robot named Metaton. Originally, I built him to be an entertainment robot. Uh, you know, like a robotic TV star or something. Anyway, recently, I decided to make him more useful. You know, just some small practical adjustments. Just, you know, tiny adjustments. Like, um, anti-human anti combat features. Oh, the embarrassment. Uh, of, of course, when I saw you coming, I immediately decided I have to remove those features. <clears throat> Unfortunately, I may have made a teensy mistake while doing so. And, um, now he's an unstoppable killing machine with a thirst for human blood. Hey, <laughs> But, um, hopefully we won't run into him. And of course we're gonna run straight into him. Dot dot dot. Did you hear something? Oh no. Oh no indeed. Even I understood that one. Oh yes! Welcome beauties! To today's quiz show. Oh boy, I can already tell it's gonna be a great show. Everyone give a big hand for your, our wonderful contestant. Oh god, this is not gonna be good is it? Never played before, gorgeous? No problem, it's simple. There's only one rule. Answer correctly. Or you die. Metaton attacks. Cry? Screaming is against the rules. <laughs> Let's start with an easy one. What's the price for answering correctly? More questions. Right, sounds like you get it. Oh. The quiz show continues. Here's your terrific prize. Uh, what's the king's full name? Yay! Correct! But a terrific answer. The quiz show continues. Enough about you. Let's talk about me. What are robots made of? Hopes and dreams, metal and magic, slip and snails, sugar spice. Woohoo! Too easy for you, huh? The quiz show continues. Indeed it does. Here's another easy one for you. Two trains train. Ah! How much longer is it supposed? Um. Um. Ah! Uh, 
Wrong, wrong, wrong. I told the quiz show continues. God damn. Don't count on your victory. How many flies are in this jar? Ah, uh, 52. Fuck. Ah. I'm guessing all of our own? Mercy spell. Let's play memory game. What monster is this? Boy, that's embarrassing, huh? Fuck, that's not fair! But can you get this one? W would you smooch a ghost? Well... Whoa! Great answer, I love it. Here's a simple one. How many letters in the name? N, two, three, 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 damn it! Crap! The quiz show continues. Time to break out the big guns. The daily simulation video game you make is key. You should do. Oh, it's snail ice cream. It's the fourth chapter. Everyone goes to the beach and she buys ice cream for all of her friends. But it's a snail flavor and she's the only one who wants it. It's one of my favorite parts of the game because it's actually a very powerful message about friendship and. Alphys, Alphys, Alphys. You aren't helping our contestants, are you? Ooh, you should have told me. I'll ask a question. You'll be sure to know the answer to. Who does Dr. Alphys have a crush on? Well, here I apparently have enough time to just think. On me? The human? Woo! Seriously? My, my, my. I've conceded. Can you get? I love it. And while you are completely wrong, you deserve some credit. I've seen her watch you on her computer screen. Smiling when you succeed, shrieking when you fail, and always, always whispering, No, wrong, you have to go that way, in its own way. Is this not love? Well, 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 with Dr. Alphys helping you, the show has no dramatic tension. We can't go on like this. Goddamn, I, I, I have, I'm having trouble keeping with the voice. <clears throat> but, but, this was just the pilot episode. Next up, more drama. More romance, more bloodshed. Until next time, darlings. Bye, Metaton. Well, <clears throat> well, that, that, that was certainly something. It's a bag of dog food. It's awful. Wait, wait. Let me give you my f phone number. But then, maybe, if you need help. I could. But where'd you get that phone? It's ancient. It doesn't even have texting. W wait a second, please. Here, I upgraded it for you. It can do texting, items, it's got a keychain. I even signed you up for the Underground's number one social network. Now we're officially friends. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to the bathroom. Bye! The fridge filled with instant noodles and soda. Yes, please. You got the instant noodles. It's a computer. It's access to some kind of puzzle in Snowden. Seems like the notes to all... But that notes to something, but it's all written in chicken scratch. It seems like a walkthrough to a game or a garbage can, but it's pretty cute. Okay, uh, oh, I'm gonna start by going outside and saving. Ah, I keep pressing the wrong buttons. I mean, I don't, I'm not sure if there is a uh, blah blah. If there's a save point the, the other way, but um, I'd rather go in. Save first, just in case. Okay, well, I figured that out, but yeah. It's a beta figurine of a female human with cat ears. Okay, let's see what's in the hole. Ah, the space behind the wall is only a few feet wide. Okay, can't go through that door. Let's check over. Okay, well, I wanna check out the lab first. Scientific books, they seem very dusty. 
All these books are labeled human history. Read one. You look inside a book. It's a comic of a giant robot fighting a beautiful alien princess. This doesn't strike you as very accurate. VHSs and DVDs of various cartoons. They are all labeled human history. All these are labeled human history. You look inside. It's a comic book. Two scantily clad chefs are flinging energy pancakes at each other. This doesn't strike you as very accurate. All these books are labeled. You look inside. A hideous android is running to school with toast in its mouth. Seems like it's late. This doesn't strike you as very accurate. Pinku. Pinku. Of his work table. Wardrobe is full of dirty lab coats and a single clean dress. Letters from many monsters here. Froggy, Snowy, Doggo. They're all unopened. Aww. It's a lamp with a pink fish on the lampshade. There's no light bulb. An incredible invention. When not in use, this bed's fold into an extremely easy to draw box. It's a promo post for Metaton's TV premiere. On the flap it says, thank you for making my dreams come true. Alright, down we go. Now we've checked out the lab. This is amazing. Okay then, onwards. Let's see. Alphys, updated status. Just realized I didn't watch Undyne fight the human. Oh, actually, let's see. I wanna call Papyrus and Undyne. Ring, ring. Neither of us know anything about Hotland. So we'll just have to combine our power. Zero plus zero is still zero. Yeah, but it's a big zero. And I really... I mean, I... I want Toriel to also... Dialing. Nobody picked up. Uh, dimensional box. Oh! Oh, well that would have been handy. No, I'm gonna leave the snowman piece in there. I, I have a feeling... Alfie's up to the status. Well, I know she's um, uh, ambi... Mm. Well, I know she's ambiable. I'll ask her about it, about it later. Alfie's updated status. For now, I got to call up the human and guide them. I gotta call up the human and guide them. Ooh. Cool. Vulcan strolls in. Encourage it. You tell Vulcan it's doing a great job. Its attack become extreme. Oh, crap. Uh-uh. Does my best. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah. Parades around you proudly. Okay, that... Spirit, you won. I did not expect that one. Alf is up to the status. Gonna call them in a minute. Okay. So, I have to pick the right one or I'm just gonna end up back at the beginning, I'm guessing. So, let's see here. Oh, maybe not. Okay. Because I, do, I don't... No, I don't have... Dimensional box. Oh, I have two boxes now. Okay. The whooshing sun of steam and cogs. It fills you with determination. Ooh. We are at the end of the episode, technically, but... Elf is up to the status. I hate using the phone. I don't want to do this lot of my ass off. I wanna... Whoa. Thunderplane gets in the way. Not on purpose or anything. Ah. Alright, I tried. I failed. I'm giving up for this time. I guess that's... that's we're at the end of the episode anyway, and I tried, and I have no clue how to deal with the... With the Thunder plane. Th thunder. The anime plane thing. <laughs> so, that is it. Thank you everybody so much for joining me on this adventure into Undertale. And I hope I'll see you in the next one as well. This is Tag, signing out. Bye bye